What is going on, guys? It's Taylor. And it's your boy, Dre. Welcome to another episode of This Was Your Idea, a show where two guys with questionable years of knowledge come together each week here, trade notes and duties, and give them an idea, talk about. Um, we trade off here and there. This is my week, so this is my idea. <laughs> and um, with this being releasing about a couple days before the, uh, if you celebrate Christmas, Christmas, um, I want to be all inclusive. So I just want to make this, this is going to be all about holiday memories, holiday memories. So anything, not just of the day of the holiday of your choice, but, or holidays, if you're, uh, days of your choice, but holiday, the whole encompassing holiday. Um, but first, we always have to get in some, you know, a little chit chat before. I wanted to, Dre, bring up to you this. Christmas is all about family and so forth and presents more presents than family but if uh when you go to uh you know you get gifts from places from your job or from other people a lot of times you get candy candy is a big thing for candy for hot for holidays okay all candy okay so i want to go with you over please the from candystore.com the top 10 worst candies for holidays candy corn has to be number four uh, we'll get we'll get to that. Okay, we'll get okay. to that. I'm gonna go actually and go through them. There's no guessing. This is this I'm gonna go through them. Okay. All ten. So this is in candystore.com. Okay, hey, wait, just one quick question. You say is it the worst candies for Christmas or worst candies holiday candies in general? Oh, uh, Christmas candies. Christmas, Christmas candy. Yeah, okay, Christmas candies. Specifically Christmas. Yeah. So they 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 have the rankings. So we're gonna go through them. One through ten. Starting off with ten. So number ten. Um, some of these I've had. Some of these I have not. So number ten, peppermint bark. Have you had it before? Peppermint bark. That's yeah, so it's disgusting. Im- so imagine, imagine a candy cane that was smashed up and like put into a big square. It's all it really is. It's just it's a it's a candy cane that was smashed up, um, smashed up. I'll take your word for it. Really? <laughs> okay. So I've had it before. I like actually. I do enjoy peppermint bark. Um, my bark. like I've got a whole box of them. I've destroyed it because I have a huge sweet tooth. So I'm all about it. Like uh, I. I have a heat sweet tooth too, but peppermint bark just, just sounds so. It sounds the name weird. may the may the name may be non appealing, but the actual food is like yeah, yeah, pep, if you like wait, wait, peppermint or you're saying this is the worst candy, right? Yeah. Okay. So all right, it sounds it's, disgusting. It sounds that way, but I but you I'm love it. I love it. All right. So next one is one I've never had: chocolate oranges. <laughs> Those are good. See? Um, okay. Yeah. I don't even know when or where I had them, but I had these oranges, and they're uh-huh. basically they were Mandarin chocolate. Mm-hmm. So I wanted, the, I think they're Chinese, but they were good. I was like, yeah. okay, okay. They're dipped in chocolate. The whole thing dipped in chocolate, and you eat it because it's dipped in chocolate. Oh, no. It's so amazing. I was thinking something else, but it was chocolate, orange chocolate, but it wasn't like a, an orange dipped in chocolate. No, this is actually these these are chocolate oranges, where it's an actual orange slice dipped in chocolate. Okay, that's not what I'm talking about. But okay. what I'm talking about was. Was it's basically that, uh-huh. but processed, so it's a good version of that. Like, like they took the oh, orange chocolate. Oh well, yeah, but I don't. I mean, depending on chocolate, but, though, like, you can have like orange. I, I've never had an orange slice dipped in a chocolate, but I've had Yet. an orange chocolate. Yeah, it was like a mandarin orange somehow made mixed with chocolate. Uh-huh. It wasn't what you're like, just like you know how you, like if you go to like a fondue, well, not fondue, but like like one those, of those like the fountains. Buffet, yeah, it yeah. wasn't that. So it was an actual. I don't even know how it was made, but it was. Tasted like orange and chocolate mixed together, mandarin like orange. Almost and chocolate. like a like a like a chocolate, like an orange cream, like a cream, like kind of. I, I can't I even describe. It wasn't an actual physical orange, but yeah. it was like a, somehow they fused the flavor of an orange and chocolate together. So it was good. Yeah. So it, it, if that's what you mean, I like it. But if you mean like you take an orange slice and you just yeah. pour chocolate over and eat it, yeah, I, that is sound. That sounds weird. Even though really? I, ironically, I oh, eat oh man, like chocolate. like apples, bananas. Like you dip all the chocolate, they make it so much better. B- bananas, yes. Strawberries, yes. Like something like a kiwi, something that's acidic, or, or like that. Well, oranges are acidic. That's what I'm saying, are, yeah, yeah, something acidic like a lemon, an orange. That I, I don't I think you do a lemon. No enamels enough your teeth. Oh, now you're going too far. Lemon? What the fuck? Yeah, you <laughs> monster. What are you doing? A lemon? A lemon and chocolate? <laughs> Same sauce? Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. All right. So orange slice, orange, orange, uh, chocolate oranges were mixed depending on the version that you're talking of. I am. I'm all about it. I'm still. I'm still. All in all, about for these candies. So number eight, this is actually something I've gotten as a gift many times when I was young. It's the Lifesavers storybooks. You know what those are? No. So essentially, it's just that it's a book you open it up, and each each side has like I'm sorry, I hit the mic. Each side has uh, Lifesavers, different versions. They have butterscotch, they have the regular regular ones, they have different flavors. It's, it's a different rolls of Lifesavers, and you just get a variety of Lifesavers. It's all it's all you get. It's a variety pack of Lifesavers. 
I'm not sure why these are so bad. They they, they sell them at the store. I mean, they're good. They aren't, and the only reason they're holiday related is because they come in a holiday book. You get them as a gift, like advert calendars. No, no, literally, like essentially, like okay, so you get a, a life, <laughs> lifesaver roll at the store, and a different versions of them. There's like ten versions of lifesavers. Like I said, like, days of Christmas lifesavers. I never. Oh, no, like the well, there's. Okay, I'm, so I'm what, trying to think of are there flavors like normal life Jolly Ranch? You said you okay, say- so lifesavers. There, there's uh, there's like peppermint lifesavers, lifesaver regulars. Spearmint, um, peppermint, okay. there's butterscotch, there's wild cherry lifesavers, uh, winter green lifesavers, uh, more peppermint. There's a there's a there's couple peppermint. there's a couple of duplicates, but yeah, but those are but those are the flavors. There are flavors. Oh, I understand. Just, just a candy that you. I believe you. I just I, like that doesn't ring a bell. I'm not sure why these are the worst. Like I really, I, I have no idea. Like nothing about this it doesn't taste bad. Just that there's different flavors. Someone has to get second place, Taylor. Someone has to get second place. So. Fucking website's bullshit. <laughs> bullshit on some. Okay, so this one, reminds me of my grandmother. Old fashioned hard candy. You ever been to a hard a, a person grandparents' that, house and they, yeah, they a have a bowl, bowl of candy, candy stuff is... together? You get one if they get like six of them at a time. Oh, I never all, had all together. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, I've seen it both, together. but mostly my parents or grandparents had the sing, individual package so they can get stuck together oh. like that. But I know I've seen it where like my grandmother like, had the whole okay. package all in one time. I, I couldn't you had to, like chip away to get fucking candy out of the I dish because you know I mean not to diss on anyone's grandparents, but you know bugs, flies. Well, she had a dish with a, ta- a, a top on it. Oh, okay. I've seen it where the dish did not have a top, so maybe I'm just. Oh no. That's why I think it's like so weird. Like why would you? That's why the individual wrap. Yeah, I, I remember it all as though. But yeah, mm-hmm. I know of it. There's a candy. dish. She had a candy. Actually, it's called a candy dish. Candy that, dish. Yeah. Candy dish with like a top on it. Yeah, no, I don't show it yet. Yeah, so those old school. I don't think those are bad candies. Those are just like for people who are of a certain age. That's just how. I, okay, I don't think they're bad candies. I think they're a they the worst candies. No, 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 like not the worst. I just think they're just so like plain Jane. Like it's like if you got if you bought a default candy, that would be it. Just like if a mint, like, just like, like yeah, just like mint. you just buy if you, if you just had like a candy that says, just said if candy. you like went to the store just said. Candy on it. He didn't have like anything else. It's like oh, okay, I guess. Like in TV shows with his beer has the the, the Kansas beer on it. It just says beer. beer. It's like okay, I guess it's just plain Jane. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> All right, this one I've never had before. You may have. I have, may have not. I have not. Ribbon candy. I've probably had it, but I, you'd have to be more specific. It looks like fruit by the foot, but except in in like strings, right? Candy form, like 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 yeah, like, like thick string, licorice, like a thick string, like a thick. Like a thick, I, I like, think I have had it, but literally like if, fruit by the foot. But if, except it, it's if it's like what I'm candy. thinking, I like that candy, so I'm not exactly. I don't know. Is Maybe it worse? it's worse in terms of like health condition because it's, it's a lot these, of these are all sugar these, and these are all diabetes in a can. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so it's fine. That we we have to stop out of the way. Yeah, you aren't you aren't you aren't losing weight eating these. All right, <laughs> next one. This one I can agree, and I think it should be higher in all forms. A candy corn? No, oh, the, really? don't jump ahead. Okay. In all forms, it's going to be Peeps. This is the, these are peeps can yeah they, you're not great yeah I There's think peeps soda they sh, does it last year this year they really there was, there was something I think really, that Jones soda always has weird flavors and shit but yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if it's the same one no there was but, a I think Pepsi and peeps had a collab it was like a peeps soda well Pepsi already sweet enough I mean Jesus Christ <laughs> yeah. you just fucking have a they diabetic added coma like, <laughs> add a different chicken a class of that. diabetic coma like have you heard the Panera lemonade scandal. Oh, that was a joke. No, what, what's, what's going on? <laughs> there, so Panera's being sued right now because they're talking about how bad candy is. Like, yeah. worse. Well, Panera's being sued because their charged up lemonade is has been uh, implicated in uh, allegedly. They say allegedly, right? allegedly, allegedly, right? like, allegedly. Yeah. Um, but their charged up lemon soda has been implicated in two deaths. Just because they're drinking too much, or just like drinking a like one one cup of it uh, will one, kill you. One. Uh, it was. So it's like a, someone had like had some health condition that's makes them sensitive to X ingredients, but the yeah. amount of caffeine in them apparently was too much. And allegedly, allegedly, yeah, I, I did say allegedly, right? Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. allegedly killed two people because the ingredients on, in them was not what they listed because they had to drink like next every other drink in Panera yeah. Bread. So anyone went and can go up there and drink it. Yeah, but they're saying that there should be like a warning: this could kill you, kind of thing. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, yeah. So, sorry well, yeah. to hear that. So, so yeah. Um, yeah so, but, it's hard out near your streets for you if you like sugar. 
But peeps. Um, so these are just really just, just regular people. They're, they're peep trees. Um, trees. So when you, you think of peeps, you think of like chickens or chicks like the outline. These are actually peeps, the brand, but it's the trees. They're trees with like red and whatever design on them. It's just peeps. I think, honestly, I think that the peeps that they don't use like an Easter or whatever get recalled and they redo them and they, they recut rec- them. I think, they, I, think, think I, <laughs> I think they live forever because like, they're like, uh, like Twinkies. Like, I, they don't really go bad. So do, do you know like a... There was a, uh, I'm not sure if it's a meme or if it's a fact or blah, 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 blah. But it's like one of the main ingredients is in Kit Kats is like Kit Kats. All the bad Kit Kats that just throw back in the machine. Oh, really? And they regrind <laughs> them up and like mix it with a new one. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's the same thing with Peeps. They ship them off to like the Peeps. Like they're, and, it, and it's probably that somebody buys the Peeps. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, we bought these at like, you know, like right after Halloween. They're like 85% off, yeah. right? So you just have someone just buys them a mass and then just opens them up and throws them all back in the, the machine and just yeah. so you redo it, them and re, redo them, redye them and put them in new. I would believe that. I 100 percent would say like just mix it up, heat it up. I was making a joke, but I fuck that's. I, I kind of believe that. Like there's no proof to that, but I'm pretty sure you could did, follow did, it up there. Speaking of scandals, did you hear the pe- the um, Chuck E. Cheese pizza scandal where there was uh, allegedly there was <laughs> allegedly allegedly. allegedly um, like pizza would be taken off like un uneaten. It is so weird. It, there's different versions of this. So <laughs> essentially, the the main consensus was uneaten pizza was taken off of people's plates that were again picked up and, out and put them put them into a whole new pizza box and make one big pizza. That's why the pizza names didn't really look the same. Like there wasn't a perfect like, circle, or whatever. But there was reusing pizzas that weren't being used by people. See, I don't believe that. That I know, I know, I know you don't, and and, and no one should, but yeah, it seems that, silly. But there was that I don't believe, but I will, I will say there is probably there's probably a version of that where some place was taking that. like old pizza and like kind of like recycling it, but yeah. not, maybe not like off people's. Pl- I don't think it's so extreme where they took it off someone's plate, because you know, um, at like plate pizza places, they just keep making pizzas, especially yeah. during like rush hour. They don't actually. Wait not for ma- people not to made order. to order. Yeah, yeah. It, they just make a bunch of people and they kind of just put it together. I, I will say that they probably do something along that lines where it's a variation of what you're saying, but not as bad. But I will think I do think that somewhere someone probably took the old pizza and took it, just took it home. I mean, there's no in some places not all management is the same. They they allow that, and some people yeah. are like no, you got to throw that away. So I will tell you this: I worked at when I was in college. I worked at Wendy's um, cashier and. When at the end of the night, when the the meat, so you make a patty, right? And the the cook can make a patty. Sometimes someone burn, right? So you cut the cut the burnt places off and you serve them up. The burnt pieces would go into a box above the stove area and it would sit there all day long. The next day, you'd open up a big can of chili for Wendy's chili, pour it in a bowl, pour it in whatever. Oh God, I- you, you you pour <laughs> you pour it in whatever, heat up. Take the meat that was in there all day and all night and dump it into the chili, and that's the meat in the chili. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, 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 I worked there. I will tell you. I worked Alleg- there. He's, what he meant to say was No, no, seriously, allegedly. that's it. I will tell you. That's no, it. We're, we're going to go with allegedly. Dre, Dre allegedly, I will tell you. I worked there. I saw it, and, right. that, was, and that was well, every night. Wendy's, um, he saw it. I... I only allegedly heard it. So if you want to sue anybody, just sue home. But, that, but I did see it though. That every oh, night that would God. that was. So I, I stopped after that. I stopped eating chili at the Wendy's because <laughs> I know where it Man, came from. I officially will no longer eat chili at, at any place now. Because sorry about that. Like I didn't uh, just let you know. Sorry, whoever else either eats the worst eats, eats thing. Wendy's chili. The worst thing I can tell you is that I used to work at Burger King. I mean, it's not even that bad, but because well, our Burger King was, uh, I want to say clean, but which was annoying. Like we would have like a lot of leftover food. Yeah. Um. The guy who owned our store was like insane or something. So oh, when we okay. at the end of the night, we would have to sh- take the leftover food, show it up to camera, and then show it dumping in the trash can. Oh, like, so you want to take it home? Yeah, we had to do this every single item. Like they say, you have to do this. Walk over to the camera, show it to the camera, and then show you dumping in. Wow. Like, the, the dude is like was apparently crazy. I never met the dude who owned the Wendy's. Yeah, but apparently they're like, no, yeah, people have gotten fired for not doing that. Like it's procedure every night. We have to do this, this, and this. Uh, because yeah, like the boss, the main boss was there. He might give us like, I think the most he'll give us is like a burger and some fries. Typically, it was just fries and a drink. Yeah. Um. But yeah, at night we would have like a bunch because, uh, I don't know why for whatever reasons our Burger King was like right before t- closing. That's when everyone shows up. It oh, was yeah. like at midnight. 
Um, yeah. Maybe because it was like a young town, so that's what people do or whatever. Uh, so Ragged Claw, we, we, we would just, like I said, it wasn't made to order. It was just, if you ordered some, so uh, specifically in Burger King, I, I can't say this for everywhere, allegedly. Yeah. Um, if you wanted like something fresh, you would have to say, like, I just want no pickles, right? Yeah. Because every burger we make in a very specific path, Mm-hmm. You say, I'm no pickles, then now we have to freshly make a burger. So if you wanted a fresh burger, okay. Fr- I say fresh. I know what you mean. My, yeah. my, my, I had the same thing. My mom, is, my yeah, mom but, and, yeah. But so if you wanted a uh, made-to-order burger, you had to say, I want extra this or I want no that. And that yeah. burger would be more fresher, more prepped than other burgers. Uh, but at the end of the day, once it hit midnight, we're closed. Whatever was left over was left over. So we would have to show it to the camera and toss it. So we would always yeah. have like a lot of food left over. Uh, not us. We'd make food before we leave and they take it home. They take it with oh, us. Yeah, see, just... see, you, you had a much more, uh, your owner was way more lenient than ours. He's, yeah, yeah. Apparently. But I understand it. There's a couple points like you don't want it because like, yeah, you take all that food. Well, because the, the major concern for my understanding for this specific was like yeah. they don't want us giving the food away to the homeless. Because one. How dare you. You don't want to have a bunch of homeless people crowding around Burger King at night because with the assumption that, oh, hey, this place gives away free food. Yeah. And two, um, you give away free food to a homeless person or even a homeless person, just anyone who wants the food, right? And yeah. then they go get sick. Well, now, like, oh, you gave me this food. Now I'm sick, so I'm suing you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why. From my understanding, again, understanding. allegedly, allegedly. So moving on. Just make sure you have that alleged tag. Alleged, alleged, alleged. You're fine. So moving on. <laughs> uh, number four, the candy canes, but the non-peppermint candy, candy canes. Oh, that's, a, that's BS. No, those are the best candy canes. The ones are the rainbow swirl or whatever? Yeah, those are the best ones because the peppermint candy cane is like good. Or so plain Jane. Yeah, they're, they're beyond plain Jane. Like I, I ate a peppermint candy cane yesterday, but how many peppermint candy canes? Over the last like 40 years of my life, right? Yeah. How many pepper can kings he eat? Yeah, 40 years old, right? Yeah. yeah. We're old, man. The, the original name of this podcast was Grumpy Old Men. Uh, no. Peppermint candy canes, at, at some point, you, you got to switch it up. How many peppermint candy canes can you eat before you're like, okay, I'm going to Yeah. And they try to do things like, my wife bought one that has like peppermint with chalk in the middle. But still, it's just a... That's just, weird. Okay. I've never different. had that one. It was like a thick one, too. It was good. So let's, 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 let's talk about peppermint candy cane. Not peppermint candy cane. Let's talk about candy canes. What's your favorite? Mine's is like the... Not the Starburst. I don't like the Starburst. They have a weird flavor to them. But they're like Jolly Rancher-esque, and they're very sweet, and they like cherry flavor. You don't know? I don't know. Just okay. more just... But the, red, can, the red one, chocolate ones are good. The red ones are good. Um, whatever. I like I, the, I whatever. the rainbow ones. They, there's ones, the rainbow, they don't, they don't taste like anything specific. They just say like candy. Mm-hmm. Then there's like strawberry and cherry ones. Those are good. Oh. Uh, I, yeah. Tart flavor, like lemon lime. I don't, I'm not a fan of those, but yeah. So we spoke of chocolate dipped earlier. So this one's number three. Chocolate covered cherry cordials, which is pretty much just like if you see the Queen Anne, like that box. Oh, those like, are good. I love Queen Anne's. I'll, I will get a whole box for myself and eat them. And I'll share them. Wait, I those are bite your are hand. You sure, this is like the word. I, this has this, this again. Cherry. This is this. This is the cherry cordials. Yeah, the, maybe These this are like is the um, cherry dip. Cherry like what's the phrase? Is it? It looks, it looks like a little bill. Is it yellow journalism? Is it where you're trying to like skew into skew to uh, buy a certain thing because they don't? Uh, yeah, like you, you, you're trying to promote hate. Like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. But by doing that, well, that's what I mean. Though, but like this—that's why we're talking about this because this is like a. This, I've, I've yeah, seen these. Those things are so because those because I don't know if you're. Let's because yeah, the Queen Anne's, the chocolate. Yeah. Those things are so good. I know they are. Like, they're, they're like the best. In fact, those things are. I'm so, gonna buy some right now. <laughs> goddammit. it! <laughs> that's what, what I'm saying. Like these websites. This is like. Uh, there's a there's a marketing phrase where. Assholes. Yeah. No. It, it's um. <laughs> I know it is. I want to say it's yellow marketing, yellow journal. It's, it's where you're... You're trying to skew the audience to, to go a, a, a certain way. Yeah, you, you're, you're using hate to promote a project. Yeah. Essentially, like, uh, like uh, where people were, like, burning Nikes. They're saying oh, that was more, like, yellow marketing where people were burning Nikes. So there's people buying Nikes to burn them like fucking idiots. Yeah. And if there's people buying them in protest to the people they hate. So, like, we go and buy chocolates to... to Cherries, yeah. Like, because you can't. I think there's also a thing on the internet where, like, you are more incentivized to to comment and take action for, for something that's negative than positive. It was like, if he was like, "Oh, this is the best candy," you'd be like, "Okay," and you wouldn't have any desire to go out of it. But it's like, if this is the worst candy, you're like, "No, I'm gonna prove them wrong. I'm gonna go out and buy it because it's such a good." You know, yeah. I'm at, how dare? How dare? How dare? All right. Uh, next one here. One I've never had of. I never had. I know of the phrase, but I never had it. Christmas nougat. 
I don't even know what that means. So I know what nougat is like. They say like, oh, it's filled with nougat or whatever. It's like it's like I'm not sure it's caramel or some kind of like material or I don't know what nougat really is per se. I if you <laughs> show me nougat, I wouldn't know what it was. Yeah, but this is it looks like just a uh, almost like a pink and red and green just like flavor. Okay. All right, last one here is and this is something that we can all um, agree on: reindeer corn. You know, can you guess what reindeer corn is, Dre? Candy corn, but we're red instead That's of orange. Right, it's candy corn, but it's it's green and white and red. It's reindeer corn. It's the same goddamn thing. <laughs> same disgusting fucking candy in the world. I don't understand how people how people like this. I I don't understand. I don't know where your your I don't know where your taste palette lies or where it got skewed or got burned. But there's no reason why you should like candy corn. And why people can take handfuls of it and just pop in their mouth. And sit there and not cry as they eat the whole thing. I do think it's remarkable how long, how far candy corn has gone as a uh, product. I, I think that's amazing. Like I, because I remember when I was a kid thinking candy corn was terrible. Thirty years later, I still think candy corn is terrible, but they still it's like producing like mass quantities. And it's, I think it's because it's so simple, so easy to make. Like the 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 way to make it's. Yeah, you know, candy corn might even be a byproduct of all the other candy you bought. It's just like yeah. all the stuff, like oh, like a hot dog. Yeah, like just melt that together and make candy corn because it's like too small. I thought it was wax. Something. I'm like, this is wax. It's just like uh, sweet wax. Yeah, it might as well be. It's not. It's not good. It's not good. Not yeah. good. Not good I, for yeah, you. Apparently. I was gonna invalidate that list if candy corn was not it. If you were gonna go through that list and you, if you never said candy corn, like they're just no, for sure. Someone did reindeer, reindeer like corn, Trey. Reindeer corn. It's candy corn. It's all candy right. corn. So that that was the top the top ten worst apparent corn is website. It's candystore.com a website, uh, top 10 worst candies. All right, well, it's time to get to our main topic at hand, which is holiday memories. Um, I was thinking about this, because I, I, I wanted to do, I was thinking about this, and I was like, oh, should I just do, like, I was do presents. But I'm like, no, because I have memories, and I think I know, I know what you're going to say when I talk about presents, when it comes up eventually um, in this conversation. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're gonna, I'm going to get ragged on about. I'm I'm curious what you think I'm gonna say. I th- I know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna rag on me and t- and talk shit like in a, in a in a fun way, but you're gonna talk shit to me and like you are. I know you are. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm ready for it. I'm like okay, well, I'm ready for this. I know I am. I, I've done it to myself. I, my friends did it to me too. So, so here's the thing about me. Go ahead. I hate when people do that. It's like because now you're building me up to be either a this villain or like well you don't know you don't know which way I'm skewing. Yeah, either way, I, it's like a, I'm saying I, I I'm saying in my you mind don't know me. I don't know you, <laughs> fool. No, no, I literally, I'm like, you know what, Jason, they give me shit. Right, cool. Let's go, it's let's cool. go. Okay, I'm so, ready. Holly memories. Um, so my, I, I actually the thing this morning, and I was thinking, it's kind of going over the podcast in my mind, as I do, before the show does, and I'm like, the earliest Christmas memory I can, oh, sorry, Christmas, the Christmas memory I, I can think of is when I was either seven or eight, um... My stepdad was in the picture, but he was dating my mom. They didn't get married yet. Um, and I remember getting a gifts and so forth. I remember a gift specifically. I remember one gift at all. One gift. It was an envelope. Inside the envelope was a $100 bill. And that was to buy me an NES, an entertainment system. And my and my stepdad told me, I'll pay for the tax, which I didn't know what that meant. That was fucking eight. I didn't know what that, <laughs> that meant. I'm okay, cool. I remember buying that, and that's what started me off. Like that's so I, I will I will I will adhere um, a little credit to my my mom and my stepdad for helping me start my video game pathway. Like they they've always encouraged me for gaming and stuff. They they don't care what I play. Um, but I remember he had to go out and buy an RF modulator. You remember those TV? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my that my TV had the little it had the little pl- prongs you had to put behind there. So I did to, in order to play my <laughs> NES on my. I guess my TV was so old and crappy. Like that was like you didn't even have a channel three at the time. No, no, I got, got the UHF. No, I think I had a channel three. I had a UHF and shit. I had two different dials for UHF and one for VHF. Yeah, yeah. It was. Um, it was an old TV. Old TV. Yeah, yeah. But I remember that was my first. I can remember the Christmas memory, and I'll I'll stop from there. But what, can you remember your first Christmas memory? I honestly can't. So the first Christmas memory I have is me being sick. Sick? I, I can't even remember like what. You sick? Like I chew sick. I remember being so sick that I was lying in bed, flu like sick, and I can't remember what happened or how I got sick. I just uh-huh. remember not being able to celebrate Christmas because I was sick. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> well, is there a happier one? You can think of like the next one. I'm a shocking, but no, but I'm sorry to hear that's, that. That's, I mean, I mean, no, no, it's fine. And it's so, still a memory, though. It's still like, yeah, it, it was just like all I can remember was like the feeling of being. It, it was like because I was in a room by myself and it was dark and I just remember lying, lying there. It was like no TV was on, no radio. It was just lying there, just being sick. That's all I remember. That's that. You know, how old you were? Okay. I have a very loose idea. Probably between ages. Okay, so it had to be 92-ish, 93-ish, so roughly nine, ten? Eight, 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 nine, ten. yeah. That's, that's, the, how that's did, the first Christmas I can how remember. Did, how did your, did your parents just bring up their presents to you in your room? I don't remember. Oh. That's all I remember. Oh, that, what I just described to you is the entire memory. It? I don't remember oh. anything before or after just that feeling of being in a room by myself sick. And I remember being holidays. I remember being annoyed that I was sick, that everyone else is enjoying Christmas, and I'm sitting here by myself sick. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it happens. You can't you can't pick when and you're sick when you will. Uh, I don't actually have so, and this isn't like a good thing or a bad thing. I just don't have a lot of memories uh, back then. Oh, okay. The ones I do have, they're like in my brain. But mm-hmm. like, if you ask me about, okay, remember, do you remember after that when we did this? Like, nah. <laughs> All I remember is the thing I told you. So when you're when you were growing up, did you did you host or did you go somewhere who hosted Christmas? Or did you go any holiday plans? Either like uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Did you go anywhere? Um, yes and no, because you know back then we were in a school, so you get that like the holiday break. But your parents keep working, so you're gonna figure out something to do with you. So maybe we went to grandparents' place. I don't really remember, honestly. <laughs> did you go to private school when you were younger? It was what's private school? Private school. Oh no, I went to regular school. No, no, I'm talking about like younger, like when like elementary or. Did you host host like your parents or your family host or did you go anywhere? I used to so my mom and dad have been separated all my life as far as I can remember. Uh so I always had not two Christmas Christmases, but I had the split in between. So I would yeah. sometimes be with my mom and we'd do my mom Christmas stuff and then sometimes it would be my, my dad's and then my like two separate families. So um outside of that in part particular i don't remember what like if we were hosted christmas and people came over uh-huh. um oh, i can't I just can't remember i'm sorry that no worries <laughs> so i remember so so for me so it was for so my grandmother was always a linchpin of the family mm, like okay. nobody got together except was her at her house for holidays It'd okay. be for like barbecues every once in, like in the summer or um easter christmas thanksgiving like it was always at her house and that was it so when she passed, we did not get together after that. Like my, our, our, my family, like my wife's family, is super close, like incredibly horribly close. <laughs> and I do not have that. And my family, like my immediate family, is my family. Like I know I have cousins out there, uncles and aunts, whatever. Yeah. But I don't really talk to them or converse with them or meet with them or hang out with them. Like I don't yeah. see them. The only reason, the only way I would ever know what was going on with my family is that. When we got together at, at the holiday at my grandmother's house, we would hang out and I'd listen to whatever, they, everybody'd catch up on whatever's going on. Um, know, I partially blame social media for that, too, in general. Like, I, I see what you're saying, because my family's like that, too. Like, I don't know what my family would be up to if it wasn't for social media, because we we used to have family gatherings and uh, family reunions, like, once every one or two years. So you would get uh-huh. together and you kind of get like a data dump of what they've been up to yeah but as social media progressed i think people f- quote unquote feel more connected so they don't feel like the need for that big hey let's all get back together thing yeah um so i think it's it's catch 22 so yeah i had the same thing with my family where i yeah my grandparents were they would a lot of the ho- and it wasn't specifically holidays but my grandparents specifically um, on my mom's side was the reason why we would get together and do like stuff. So I, mm-hmm. I do feel like Thanksgiving was one of them. anything was like a lot of food, yeah. like food holidays. So we Thanksgiving was one of them. I want to say we did like an Easter one. Um, and I, I, I feel like we might've done a Christmas. Like it doesn't, I don't have any specific memories wrapped around Christmas. Yeah. Or maybe they were Christmas memories. I just don't remember like any like Christmas trees or anything. So mm-hmm. maybe we do food, but yeah, uh, once they passed away or passed on, or got too old to like be able to hold the events, then yeah, the, the family yeah. started to come together. So yeah, we don't. So my dad on my dad's side, my dad lives in Washington, so I live in California. Well, we're in That's California. very popular. We established that in our videos. Oh, God, my daddy. Oh my God, <laughs> I kid you. It is the weirdest thing. 
weirdest thing. It, anyway, that's sorry for another day. Super popular pops, but um, he's the one who tries, or he see he tries to put on like it's yeah. But whenever we go to my dad's house for Christmas over like the last twenty years, uh-huh. he would try to put on like a Christmas thing. It, and he doesn't care who comes. Yeah, he sends out the invite. He sends the day when it's gonna happen. And you either do or don't come. And some mostly, like, over the years, it's gotten less and less. Again, I blame social media partially for that. But, mm-hmm. like, I would say, like, 10 years ago, we have photos of me at, at my dad's house for Christmas. And, yeah, the family, a big portion of the family uh, was there. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So now, yeah, we don't have that um, as much, especially as we get older. So, mm-hmm. And I think it's it's kind of sad because, like, I don't plan on carrying on that. I, I actually try, and this is... Less about Christmas, but more about friends. I try to get my friends. I will throw a, an event at my house once a month. It's not yeah. even that big. Like uh, potluck, movie night, game night, once a month. Some people come, some people don't. But the amount of people that used to come like five years ago yeah. is like almost like a third of what comes down. Yeah. So I just kind of I blame social media for a lot of things. And that's that connection between people and the need for that connecting it doesn't feel as important as because you quote unquote can see them online. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what's going on with their lives. Yeah. No, you yeah. talk to them. You're like, Oh yeah, you got, you had a baby, you got married. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to tell me that because I saw an update of it. So it's like, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, what's a faux, fa relationship. I got you. Pseudo relationship with my family. So mm-hmm. yeah. So for, um, so I know some in Hispanic culture are like, it's it's always like a midnight release for like presents if you're good mm. somewhere, um, and I didn't know that until I met my my wife <laughs> and her family. They do this. So when I was when I was when I was younger and my grandparents were still alive, we would go to their house for Christmas Eve, um, and we you know eat a meal, hang out, drink whatever if they if you were of age, and then um, we'd open presents like everybody get presents for everybody, and then that was be it. They'd go home and go sleep. Um, I remember that was like one of the first. I think that was the. I think it was the first time I ever got buzzed because <laughs> I. I remember that Hollywood holiday, holiday wine, blood of Christ. No, no. It, I, I remember I was. I, know, I was a teenager or younger than that, and I remember I just I. I grabbed some champagne. <laughs> and I just downed it. Oh, I just downed the whole thing of champagne, like a whole flute of champagne. I thought I was straight to the forty ounces. <laughs> That's right, it's the Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. Yeah, no, no. I, 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 I remember doing that, and I got a big head rush, and I was like wobbly, and like I was like walking around and wobbly, and then it went away eventually. But I'm like, what the fuck was that? Like, I didn't, I didn't, didn't know if that was being drunk. I was too young. I didn't know if that was being drunk or was like was. I didn't know that the, the buzz wasn't like a uh, something that was in my mind as far as uh, a term. Um but yeah, I remember doing that um, when I was older, working at Target, electronic section. But during the uh, during the holiday season, they moved to the toy section. What did we learn today? <laughs> Not only did he work at Wendy's, but he also worked at Target. I <laughs> did. Yeah. Um, and so during the holidays, on Christmas, we had to work Christmas Eve because, of course, we did. And we were doing we were doing uh, it closed early, but we had to still stay after and clean up. Oh, is wow. the whole day fucking mess? Oh, yeah, everybody is a goddamn maniac pig on on during the holidays. So, quick, quick, quick side note. What's up? I used to work at Funko Land, which is GameStop now. Yeah, GameStop Funko Land. During I was a holiday. It was a holiday season when I worked there. And yeah, you realize how you know, I walk in, and I might move a game or so. You're like, okay, nah. You, when you see that on a flip side, and people just knock over all that stuff and look at you like, oh my bad, and just leave. Like, dude, you you kidding me? Like. <laughs> People are animals, and is during the holiday season, like, especially like a holidays, it's worse because people are trying to steal games. But that's why they take them out the packages because yeah. people would, would run off with them. But, but people would run off with the cases. Like you're an idiot. <laughs> like, if you really want the case that bad, you can keep it. But you're trying to steal the games, and yeah, it's it's just people are an animal. Like you just run off with stuff, and yeah. By the time a shift was over, it would look like like a tornado. You had a, yeah, you had a bunch of kids just throwing around stuff. Like why? How did this happen? Like where do you? Don't you guys have banners? Anyway. <laughs> the old man started there for Dre. Yeah. Because uh, I look excited to clean it up. No, 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 no. I understand. No, I understand. So, so, so our Target, they had, um, we had go-backs. We had carts of go-backs. So people would throw shit everywhere in the store. Oh, and yeah. they put them like, oh, this goes in this area. And they get, we get a cart. 
And that's why during the holiday season, it would it'd be two people. It was me and Renee, friend of the show, Renee, who would be hopefully would be on our one day as a guest. Um, he, um, we would be together in toys, a cleanup constantly. And we called it zoning. So zoning was going up and down the, the aisles and then cleaning things up, putting things where it should be, taking things yeah. where it shouldn't be, making things nice and straight. And as soon as you zoned one aisle, you'd walk the next one, come back to it, and it'd be fucking a mess again <laughs> and they'd be like what happened here like what how did this happen like it would be horrible yeah especially when, especially when like you go those aisles with the stuff on the on the pegboards and like the little things you can hang up they would take them off and just lay them down there i'm like just put All them right. back god in, damn it in their defense i fucking hate i have that shit. tried putting them back i it is difficult it is really like it's it's because of that where i am super super anal about that i'm like i'm gonna put it back where it goes nah. so I, my wife would be like come on like Come on. I do that, and I've tried. I'm, I'm, like, I'm putting, like, put forth a solid effort trying because, like, it's easier to take off uh-huh. than it is to get back up on there. At least that's my shtick. Yeah, um, okay. I, I, I stand on that because I, I really tried. And I've, right, you're one of, the, you're one of them, Pedro. Yeah, I've caused more damage trying to put stuff back on and didn't just – that's why I, always, I will put it near it yeah. or stack it as close as – because like, maybe there's, like, an I, I can put it on where maybe it's not the same one. Yeah, but I I put effort into putting it back, but I it's hard, it's really hard. Okay, um, at least for me, maybe me it might just be a me thing. So, but we also as mentioned the go backs. The go backs were literally just a a a I think a, a cart full of stuff. So you had to go through the cart, you have to separate them, walk them around, and you'd have to be doing go backs while you were doing zoning. But also there would be a train for tra- for toys. You would get a constant flow of. Um, carts going into your area. So you'd walk back and go, hey, more go-backs, go, more go-backs. And there'd be literally six, seven carts of go-backs. During work? Again. During work. Oh, okay, I thought for some reason I thought it was during work. work. Yeah. And then after work, we, we, people found stuff in their area and cleaned up and zoned their supposed to, because you're supposed to zone and get things out and make it look nice. So at the end, the people, the cashiers who had stuff they didn't want, they had their go-backs, and we'd get six, seven more carts of stuff to put back. <laughs> and like, Toys was always the one where we need the most help because we would stay there all night um, doing stuff. Yeah, it felt like torture. And man. it got it got so bad during the holiday season that we found fucking one guy in the end cap sleeping. He, he's, like the worker he slept sleeping. But but I all have to say that one holiday I actually I won a I won a turkey I, for a holiday <laughs> holiday turkey. Uh, there's some 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 giveaway we we're doing. And before we left, I wanted turkey, so I got to take a turkey home to my grand my grandmother's house, where everybody was. Uh, so I had to I had to I had to go in my target uniform, and they'd already eaten already, and they were hanging out. But I got there late, and I was like, "Fuck!" I was so starving. I ate. <laughs> I, I can't remember what I ate, but I ate a lot of it. Um, but that was that was that. But I even today, like during turkey, hol- gives you like nightmares. <laughs> no, no. Say, but say, as, as, say as far as the holidays go, um, my my wife's family they do midnight, so we make going by brother laws at. at his house and we we do a minute minute release of, of toys or whatever gifts and everything um we've learned that us at us at midnight we can knock it out in like an hour or two depending on what it is kids kids add on two hours just by themselves so we started doing um kids like at 10 or 11 i'm gonna say because he, he's like you said midnight and i was like damn that means you at midnight you're starting christmas and then by 2 a.m it's like okay guys Time to go to bed. Yeah, out. yeah. That um, sounds crazy. Yeah, I, me- I remember my nephew when he was uh, two or three. Like he was like he was sitting there like crying. He's like, "No more presents. No, I don't want to do anymore." Because in the middle of the middle of the morning, he was so tired, and he's like, "More presents." And you know, they get kid- kids get the most presents. Yeah. So um, uh, I-, I would say um, we, at best, we get one gift. We were allowed one gift, so we we could wait till midnight, and we were allowed to open up only one and the one and only gift, and yeah. the rest for for Christmas morning. Yeah, so that's that's as best we did. Close. How to how did you have a strategy on your gift you wanted, or did you kind of know the box? Like, oh, that box looks like a game or something. They come to get that. I mean, it was always like write down what you want, and you might you get it. Like, yeah. you could like the kind of like guesstimate on what was on your stuff, what you got, and then how much. Like you bought it, put it in the bike and cost two thousand dollars. Yet, yeah, the chances of me getting this is slim. But you know, I read down just in case. But if I put like you know the Blu-ray for Who Framed Roger Rabbit or not Blu-ray, but you know DVD, yeah, and you see that little box that looks like a DVD, like you know you can figure it out. Like, yeah, because my 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 parents weren't big on like you know stuff them in a shoebox and and like trick them to get the you know, yeah. If anything, they put two get two gifts together and taped them together, uh-huh. and you can kind of figure it out. But otherwise, it was 
pretty straightforward. Maybe this box is a toy. This box is probably a game. How are uh, we'll get we'll get back to that. Yeah. That's that's where, that's where I was. Okay. Um, how are you? With, how are you with rapping? I'm good at it. I used to. Really? Okay, I used to be the king at it. I I'm fucking horrible rapper. Uh, Goddamn. Because I used to have to rap. Because I have a. Um, if you don't know, I have eight siblings. So I had to get real good at rapping gifts. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do you fall? In, where do you fall in the, in the hierarchy of siblings? Age wise, wise second to oldest. But treated like I'm the oldest in a lot of cases. Gotcha. Because most of my because my brother is in my my dad's side of the family, so I'm mostly on my mom's side. Mm-hmm. So I'm generally speaking the oldest by like many years. Gotcha. By the people around, but when I'm around him, he's one year older than me. So yeah. So you're you're the king of rapping. Yeah, king of rap. King of rap. <laughs> Dropping the lyrical beats as well as yeah. the. Uh, are you good with the? I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm not that because I I've watched these. YouTube, there's a YouTube video for everything, right? Yes, of course there is. There's these people do these, like these very intricate and like, like, almost like genius rap where you like do this whole rap and then for the person to get everything on, they just pull one string and the thing like opens up. Yeah, I'm not yeah, that level. Disgusting. Yeah, like that's like that's too much. I'm the, I'm the, like you can put the box in the middle, you can fold, fold, fold this way, and you can cover it up. Or if like, you have extra sheet from another one, you can like match it up and then cover it up there. So it looks decently wrapped. So it doesn't look like trash. It looks like yeah. someone put effort into it, but there was that, like I said, YouTube rapping is an art form. Yeah, I'm not, I've never committed that level. So I'm I'm good when it comes to rapping, like fold over and tape. Sides, no way. Like I can't do sides. Like I either I I really roll them up, or I I put a square and like it sticks out the side. Is it sticks out? <laughs> so it it looks like candy because it sticks out the side. Like some of these rappers supposed to take it off. Um, I, I looked online for stuff for for tutorials. Yeah, and I found some, and there I, I found a video the other, video the other day. That's like here's eleven different levels of rapping for you. I'm like Jesus Christ! Oh, but like, it went to like yeah. normal rapping to like rapping to like an art form. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's just, you have to like we're like oh yeah, I made this fold. That's where the card goes. I'm like fuck out of here. Like I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, hand I saw, your card. I saw one the other day that did this like this crazy technique where now to open the gift you uh-huh. don't have to pull it. You just pull the like you know like those envelopes that you just pull the string and it yeah. rips off the it was the same it was basically the same thing like you just pull the string and then one side will fall down and you can just slide the gift out it's like yeah fuck that <laughs> yeah no. I've never been at it. there's there's some people who can do some amazing things with with time and I if I had to grip, grip, vote it on one and ten like one being able to rap and ten like being like you know intricate I pay like a four. Hey, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be the negative members. Like I can, I can do an initial, the initial fold, or maybe like the, the, the cover, and maybe the fold, make it look nice, a straight line. Yeah, as far as it goes. After that, it's not, you're on your own. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I, I, I as well. I just, I, that's why gift bags and and rat and uh, stuffing is just that. It's a good way to go sometimes for me. And I because I was always the one who wrapped, wrapped everyone's gifts except my own, obviously. So that was like five people's gifts. So yeah, I had to be decent at it. Yeah. yeah. And you ever had to wrap your own gifts? No, um, maybe one of the sides. I I don't remember. Maybe mostly no. My wife, my wife has to wrap her own gift sometimes. She says, um, but her mom, my mother in law just my just pretend, just look, pretend, look, look surprised or look, look, you know, whatever. So, so she knows what she's getting for the most part from some people. Yeah. Um, I never had to wrap my own gifts. I my sister, my little sister, always wrapped gifts when I was younger. She had to wrap her own gifts. That's, that's, that's how that went. So she knows she was getting. Um, but. Uh, so on, on on the topic of gifts, you mentioned you get one one gift at, at midnight. Um, my family we never did the midnight uh, release. We did it was always that morning of. Um, so I, so going back to like the they like said the the Nintendo Entertainment System, I got the hundred dollars for that. After that, um, so I get I, got, I started getting a little more elaborate with my 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 wish list, whatever I wanted. Because at first it was always my mom would come in with like a um, like a catalog, and it'd be okay. Well, here are this circle the pages and the, the toys you want. You know, whatever A, B, C, whatever. It always be for here in where we are. I live in the area. I still I live in the area. Um, but it was best. So best was a store. You hear best? No. So best was a store, and um, they always had the best wish book. It literally a thick ass. Catalog that was sent to us. I remember those. And like you go through them and you just go, there's tons, tons of toys. I remember that's when I got my first lot of like a ton of comic books. So there was, they were selling like a, a set of Marvel comic books. And I don't know how, if they knew how much they were worth then, 
because I'm pretty sure that I got I have some in there still in my I they actually came through when I was moving to my house. Um, I look like well these these I've seen these like go up for like quite a, a bit of money. Oh, you maybe um, have your retirement fund right there. Something. But I remember buying those, but I, I remember going through and making a list, and that was that was my list then. Um, and it was like, okay, well, here's a pen circle, and we'll go through and we'll look at the toys and we'll make a list, and they'll they'll buy me whatever their stuff. Um, now later on in life, okay, so this, don't harp on me here. So, <laughs> there you go. So later on in life, my parents got uh, a little more well off. That's good. A little more well off. What and, loser? No. <laughs> and so I would, I would, and then we got a computer. So I decided to, being my nerdy ass self, you know those those, those report book, reports that you do, like you have a clear cover and they have the you put the reports and stuff for a like, school. <laughs> so I made a full on wish list with a cover, table of contents, um, an intro page to each each section. <laughs> It's pretty adorable. That's more, that's more cute than I mean. It's weird, like, but it's more cute than like not cute. And so I would make little abstracts, make make little addendums. Like, okay, well, if I asked for games, I said, well, and for me, like, <laughs> I had just learned about like guidebooks and everything. And I'm like, you know what? Hey, so I put everything. It's like I would put like I want these games, and my mom would be like, okay, I'll put the games you want, but in order you want them. And I said, okay. So, and every, everything I put like here is this game, whatever. If a guidebook is available, please get one as well for that one. And it was a guidebook <laughs> for me. And that was it. You did the guidebook. I, I I could never do guidebooks. Guidebooks are always like cheapen it for you. Pin, cheapens it ninety percent unless the game's hard. So like if you had a guidebook for like Mist, understand it because that game is not like straightforward easy. Yeah. Uh, but a guidebook for like Legend of Zelda, it kind of just yeah. No, it was it was for those games. It wasn't for like action platformers or like like Mario yeah. or whatever. It was for games that had like with RPG elements or stuff that I knew that would take a long time. And I wanted to get the full element. I wanted to get the full everything of the game. So I asked this to, for help with that that way, um, and it also Nintendo Nintendo Power. I was had I was getting that magazine in the mail every month, so I, they would also show their guidebooks, and you could actually get some whatever. Uh, but I remember my mom telling me later on in life that she's like, "Well, I would all I would do is I go go to either GameStop or Electronic Boutique, which is was that run like, back then, which is now GameStop. Yeah, GameStop. They're pretty much owned by all GameStop now. Yep." Or uh, Suncoast, Suncoast. Um, oh, I remember Suncoast. Yeah, Suncoast with, with did video and uh, some games and, and video, but she would get she would hand them my list and say, "Okay, I, <laughs> I, so can, can I get can I get this?" And she's like, oh, "Which one?" And she's like, "All of them." And then they'd be like, "Oh man, oh, I, man. I, wish, I wish you were my parents." And like my I remember my my mom telling me that she would take she she would give my stepdad my list and she would see him in the store like, "Where's the list?" She's like, "Oh, the guy's doing it for me." <laughs> and he, he, he would just give this to the guy and say, okay, go find these for me. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Let he had his genius. own personal shopper for him. <laughs> like, go and do it for him. I'm like, okay. But I remember, like, and it, it, it was only then when I realized, like, I, you know, I. You had a decent childhood, huh? <laughs> Apparently, uh, so I'm like, yeah. Money money's just making it rain. Like, I got every game I wanted. Every game yeah, I, was, I was. I was very fortunate. And, 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 so, and, and I got a lot of stuff, too. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't get a lot of stuff. My mom made do. My dad made do when he could. And so it was. Yeah, I'm not gonna hate. Yeah, no, and and that's. Um, and I remember that. I remember this going back and like, for me, it was so our routine for Christmas was me, and my little sister, my little sister, we're all centuries apart. So, it would be. We 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 were, we were in a two story townhouse. So it, my my mom and my stepdad would go downstairs. Shave. My son would shave. My mom would get coffee, whatever, and they get coffee ready. But they would they, they would get their coffee. Their coffee consisted of alcohol, so they were lit. <laughs> they were, they were getting up coffee, coffee for grown ups. <laughs> yeah, they were they were getting lit in the morning. This is like eight or nine, and um, I would they would like, okay, they'd be, okay. So they'd all we'd all come down to the stairs together together, and we'd have our own sit our own places. I would have one side of the couch. My stepdad, my, my stepdad sit in one place. My mom was in one place. My sisters would sit in their own places, and they have, and we just sit, pass out presents. Of course, also, always the stockings first, and then we go for you know whatever for other people. And then it was it was it was present time. It got to be a point where like we just get a big trash bag, or like a, a Santa bag, and like each of us get a Santa bag full of gifts. <laughs> and then we just have, we just, cool. we just, we just toss we just toss put them in the corner, and then you you do what you you did. 
And they knew that I, I had a routine from my end. It was to open up and get upstairs back to my room the quickest possible in any <laughs> the time in, in anyone's life. So I would literally go through, rub up on gifts, say thank you, and move on. Like, my sisters would still be opening gifts, and I'd be done. I'd be upstairs playing games. I'd be upstairs already. Uh, we always did the – the system was always uh, – we, we would do – generally speaking, all the gifts are under the tree. Yeah. We'd separate them out, and you'd get one gift at a time. So we'd kind of like, open this. Okay, what did you get? Okay, cool. Next person. And we just kind of do that until we were out of gifts. So. Yeah. It was no, there was no racing. I mean, maybe you could open your gift faster, but you can, you'd kind of like out of respect, oh. wait for other people to open their gifts mm-hmm. and then, you know, do one at a time and like, Hey mom, this is for you. Oh, Hey, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, this is for Sally. Hey, da, 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 da. And then, da, da, da. or like we do. So that's one way we just like separate the gifts out or we reach in a tree, see where it's from and hand it to that. They'd open it and just do that one at a time. Yeah. It was yeah, one of the, so it was not very quick ordeal. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, it wasn't like it was. It was kind of like force you to spend time with the family because yeah, you kind of in a sequence of events. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, my <laughs> my gro- growing up, um, that wasn't that was that wasn't a thing. Get this family bull. You know, it, just, more, it was more like my mom's I like, need well, my gifts. <laughs> like my mom always told me, he's like the only reason the only reason that I got. Gave you, you got you got you got in your system in your room. You have, you have your games. You have cable. You have a DVD player. Cause I don't want to see you. Just, you have just go to your room and hang out. I don't have to see you. So each of us had like, me and my sister. It had the cable in it. You know, in our room. The yeah. life, huh? <laughs> I'm just saying though. But that's the reason why they, Taylor's house. Shit. And it was, and that, and that was, and and you know that was that was it. And, like after that, like they, my friends knew that come over to my house. After Christmas, because they all my shit, to, that'd be something to play. And I'd be eating this, like, my mom would get me, like, the, the seized candy boxes. And I'd just demolish those in the, in the morning. It'd be first. Before oh, any type man. of breakfast, any type of meal, the candy would be all gone. And I'd be eating every single candy, playing games, um, either Man 64 or PlayStation or whatever. Just, I just get Play, games. Eating chocolate hors d'oeuvres on my golden day. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> playing in 64 next That's to my right. PlayStation. Four thousand and yeah, the ones I'm not yet. Yeah, and then later on, later on, my mom would go and make dinner, breakfast, whatever, and she's like, "Oh, if you want breakfast, come get fucking come, come get it." And <laughs> so we we go eat, but we'd we'd eat and like go back to our places, our rooms, and my sister in my room. Uh, and then I'll say the coolest memories I have for Christmas is when it snows because it doesn't snow that often Christmas, especially if you live in California yeah. or okay, depending on where you live in California. But generally, uh-huh. if you're living in California, you're not going to see snow because most people live in the Probably yeah. like areas where it doesn't know. Um, but the coolest thing is when it snows. It, it just makes that day feel a little more special. I don't know. It just, just I never, ha- I never had a Christmas. In the- We've talked about it. Like, my, like currently, my, my my wife and my not my daughter, and like her family, like because we went to a, a cabin in Big Bear like last winter. Or, no, not last winter. No, a couple winters ago, before my daughter was born. Yeah, we went there, and it was fun. It was nice. It was relaxing. I remember, um, it wasn't during the holidays per se. It was during when it was snowing. Yeah. And we went outside. We were drinking, like, it was quiet, nothing to do. And yeah. go outside and drink the, some whiskey on the... It's this really weird feeling that the world kind of slows down it snows. Yeah. Like, it gets, like... It, it's this weird... It's like, because first you don't see people drive, drive, drive around the streets, right? Because it's yeah. not safe for the most part. But then you see people kind of, like, going outside and playing in the snow. Especially if they, they live in an area with kids. So it's like... Yeah. It makes it more playful. So then, and, if, and if it's during Christmas, then you see like everyone's decorations. And even if it's Christmas, people are trying to build snowmen and put like Christmas decor on them. Yeah. And then like, there's like the sound that comes with the snow. Like it, it's like silence because it like kind of blocks out all like um, noise pollution. Oh Plus, yeah. Again, the people aren't driving around, so it's really like it's kind of eerie, quiet, but with a lot of people around, it makes it like. More jovial, a lot of kids. It's, it's very interesting. I don't know. I mean, especially if you go like on walks. Like, yeah. You hear the crunch of the snow, just like the crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah. As you're walking through. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. And and for for me who has asthma, like it it helps. I know they always say it cleans the air, but like a nice like a nice cool. Yeah. Cool brisk. Yeah. 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 It's it's like it's a Christmas and the snow is like a different vibe. It just makes it. I don't know. It just. 
somehow amplifies it like six more times. So like when we had I, I assume this is Washington, right? You're speaking of. Um, no, I, I used to live in Palmdale too. Lancaster. It's not there. It does not often, but mm-hmm. there was one year where it snowed and it was like the coolest thing. But it didn't snow like it will. Okay, it will snow in Palmdale, but it might what they call it stick where it snows, but then you know it's done by afternoon. Yeah. But there was one year where it snowed, and it was like that for like four days. Not is it the same place I went to, or a different place? Well, for a wedding, yeah, yeah, uh, up there, yeah. It's, like, it's a desert, desert. Yeah. So sometimes it snow. It gets cold enough to snow. Yeah. During the winter, so you just need a, a rain sort to come in and it'll snow. Right on. Um, in which it does, and also like there's like this white glow, mm-hmm. like uh, it's like if you <laughs> like a diffusion filter. Yeah. On across the entire sky, and it's just all white. It's cool thing. Cool thing. Well, I can only imagine like just. I mean, we didn't, there was no streetlights where I was at when it was snowing in Big Bear, but I can imagine like going out in your front, your front porch, hanging out in the snow, or just talking to the family, just kind of looking up yeah. and seeing like the the glow of the light, and then like the snow coming down, or yeah, and it's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of imagine the holidays. Like that is a holiday. It's something, it's something you see in movies that I've never experienced. I never experienced oh. that. I mean, that's well, in your face, in my face, <laughs> yeah, in my face, not in your face. I don't remember your face, anything, but <laughs> no, like, no, I'm just kidding. But no, I no, I'm, I'm that's that's Wait, there's, awesome. There's like, a dark side of that because you can get stuck in the snow. And you can, when, hopefully, you have food because you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Why well, you snow, Dan? You kind of you, you pick you pick who's getting who's getting eaten. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Little, yeah, because one, I mean, uh, the the flip side is yeah. If you drove out there to visit the family, you're stuck. You're one near, now. You're stuck there. Yeah. Two. It so is you quite, like them. So hopefully you have heat because it is quite cold now. <laughs> yeah. Literally freezing. Uh, but no, it, you can you can make the best out of it. And yeah, it's always a good time. That, that's my favorite. I don't, so I don't have like any. Spe- I remember, like this is like ninety eight ish uh-huh. when I remember that when it happening. And I, I don't know if it snows that often there anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't have that memory memories with snow. But so it's like it makes it special. But yeah, it's it's, it's a cool vibe. Do you ever do the advent calendar? No, I see them all the time, and I've always wanted to do them, but it just seems like, something about that just seems like, yeah, it seems like a lot of money just for not much. I'll, I'll even see the Funko advent calendars. I haven't seen any more. I only see the, the uh, mine had chocolate. Like, all those, it was like a calendar full of chocolate, and you just, every day you get a chocolate one. Yeah, I've seen them, the Funko ones, where it's like, there's a Harry Potter one, and the Nightmare for Christmas one, where it's like, yeah, every day you get a ne- different little mini little Funko. Trinket. And it's like, yeah, do I want to do it? But nah, I ne- I've never done it. So I... I bought one for my daughter. Um, it's bluey, and <laughs> and so I'm like, cool. But nothing that you get in those in, inside is bluey. Like the inside <laughs> is just generic Christmas stuff, and the outside is bluey. Picture a picture of bluey and bingo, mm. and it is like so. She's gotten like, and they're all pretty much almost the same thing. <laughs> Some variation of the same thing. It's just ornaments. Yeah, is an ornament for the tree. So my wife, my, for my my wife, actually got me for the past. Two years, not this year. She didn't get them. But the past two years, she got me a Star Wars one. Aww. So, so Lego Star Wars. So every every day, I open one up, and they'd be a Star Wars little figurine they put together. Um, well, that'd be cool if they gave you like parts, and then like by the end of it, you get like the whole one huge mech. Yeah, like you get like a, I was gonna say it's Death Star. Like he kept giving you parts. Oh yeah, Death Star. And by the end of it, me, or is it to the end of the month or to twenty fourth? First twenty fourth. Yeah. So they, you need to go to twenty fourth, and then it's like a Star Wars ornament. At that, that'd be kind of cool. You get the pieces over time. That would be. That'd be cool. Yeah, uh, yeah it makes you. Yeah, so my, now my, my daughter every day comes and says, oh, here, gives, gives me the calendar to open. Okay, we can open it up. Um, did you have any, um, well, you don't have to, like, not bad, but more, more like, like didn't go, I don't want to say bad or didn't go the way you wanted or, like, just memory. So I, I have I had, I can I, remember. I think I, I, think I know. Because I, I, when you were talking about memories, actually one popped up finally. It's like, oh, okay. I do remember this, but this is another bad memory. Um, Sorry. But, <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's like, so this Christmas we were at my granddad's wife's house. And so we were spending Christmas with my granddad, or we went there for Christmas after Christmas, tomorrow on Christmas, right? Uh-huh. And they she she had a gift for us. All right, I my older brother got he got socks. There's a wow. box of socks. And you know when you're a kid back then. I love a box of socks now. You give me about. I actually. Look forward to a box of socks now. Back then, you know, kid, you want a toy, game, whatever. Yeah. He got a box of socks. So he was upset. My younger brother, he got, I forget what it was, but he actually got toys and, like, a lot of cool stuff. We were like, because he was the favorite. My, my grandma, well, not my wife's, my granddad's wife's, he was a freak. So he got whatever he wanted. So he got, like, a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. I didn't get anything. 
at all. She was like, oh, I didn't buy you a gift. So she wow. gave me 50 bucks. At what some point, I had to give a hand back to her. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because we, wow. we knew my younger brother was the favorite, so we knew he was going to get a gift. So he got a gift. My older brother, he got at least socks. And because those were the gifts, they, they didn't, I don't know why they didn't buy three gifts. They just didn't have a gift for me. It was like, okay, here's $50. And at some point, she asked me for the $50 back. <laughs> so that I in turn, is... I got nothing. That I'm Christmas. sorry, man. And well, yes. I mean, it's, uh, water under the bridge. But I'm just yeah, saying. But still, though, man, but at the time, <laughs> man, you got you to gotta feel no, yeah. we remember it because like that's one of the things I remember because like yeah, we talk about like yeah, I remember when Isaiah got all that stuff. I can't even remember what he got too. But it was gifts. It was yeah, definitely good gifts. And my, we got we made fun of Mandel or my older brother because he got socks. And then my thing was just um, nothing. <laughs> Man, so. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, I'm gonna no. say my my <laughs> my negative memory was and I didn't get everything I wanted on my list. No, no, no. <laughs> it was. I had to one 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 holiday and, and one Christmas, and my mom told me after that, never fucking again, never again. You're gonna stay home. Is never fucking again. It's gonna happen again. Cause so we, my step, my my dad wanted to pick me up for for Christmas and go to some relatives, whatever, whatever the fuck it was. I'm not sure. I still I'm still not sure where I where we went, <laughs> whose people were. I never seen any of them in my whole life. I think I, I knew one person there. Maybe one person. That sounds interesting. Okay. Yeah, so he picked me up. So I had to not only get my get my gifts done, come play with a single fucking thing, not enjoy Christmas. <laughs> I had to get dressed, Gary him pick me up, and then we went some place. And it was I, I I didn't know. Like I said, I didn't know anybody there. And I, to this day, I don't understand. <laughs> don't know. Why we were there? <laughs> Apparently, someone knew my my dad knew somebody. I'm not sure if it was somebody who was dating or whatever their family. But I mean, I didn't. I just, it just, I it just it pissed me off because I went there. I'm like, why is this so boring? Like, I don't know anybody. Why did you bring me here? And then he's like, oh yeah, go and this is so and so, and I don't fucking care. And like, I just, I, I, I didn't have a license or anything, so I couldn't like fucking say peace out, I'm out of here, or get a bus for anything home. Yeah. But I know where I was actually. <laughs> and so I ended up going home, and like I'm like I can't wait to be home. Like I'm just, I'm happy to be home. And mom's like, no, just never again, never again. Are you going to go out on Christmas? You can stay home. Enjoy your gifts. We got you. That's what you're going to do. Like there's there's no reason for you to leave. And I remember that being like like the worst. I remember being sick one year. I remember being sick, and I remember Elaine. That was still better. No, <laughs> that was that was still better than going to my my dad in this fucking place he took me to. Um, but I remember. Laying in, I see my brother's two uh, bed sheets. I remember laying and laying on the floor with my sheet over me and like just sleeping part of the part of the morning because I was sick. And I told my mom, "I'll just bring the gifts to my room." She's like, "Shut up! Don't just be stud. Don't be quiet. You're, you'll feel better." <laughs> yeah. And um, I remember that part. So that was that. Uh, but I, yeah, I that was like during and during during the day at, my, at our house we had like snacks. We had like literally. Like you had a meal in the morning, the rest of the day was just like junk food. Like she would go all out and she would put the, our whole our, our whole table would be full of like candy and snacks, chips and whatever. And like and my friend Jeremy would come over, live like five houses down from me. He knew he knew to come over like after he was done because he had a Genesis, I had a Nintendo, and he was more Sega oriented. I was not so. If we want to play Sega games, you go to his house, Nintendo, whatever, you go to my house. Mm. And that's that that's the place we go and say so we come over and he play he play game games all day long. Um, watching movies, eating. Uh, I don't think we ordered pizza or anything. I think it's just ate junk food and shit. And that, but like well, that was Christmas was a hard time to get pizza because everyone was trying to order pizza on Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And and that sucks. I think to think now like, damn, that was um like the meal. Like I don't remember if anything I don't think of anything. My mom, I think we actually ate per se, like a big meal meal. Um, but that was that was more holidays. Uh, did you ever go anywhere for like holiday, like during the during the holidays, either either current day or when you were younger? Just like, to my dad's house. I, we don't even do anything. No, I mean, like, well, yeah. But as far as like, if you go to like like I know the Grove has stuff for like. Uh, oh, I mean, with a with partner, I'm super big about Christmas lights. Um, every year, probably for instance, as long as I had a car. 
Uh-huh. We try to find somewhere new, which now we're kind of out of place. We actually found somewhere new last year, but there's about so we're in Southern California. There was about eight really cool places, like spots for Christmas. Yeah, to drive around to. Uh, in fact, tonight we're going to Altadena slash Pasadena. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Altadena Pasadena to go uh, Christmas lights uh, wandering. We used to drive up every year to Santa Clarita. They have a um, Winter Wonderland, which is on, um, well, let's Google Winter London, and Santa, somewhere in Santa Clarita, or Valencia, rather. Yeah. Um, there's one off at the 105, or the 105 meets the 405 near El Segundo. Right on. That's one we go to. There's one in Torrance called Sleepy Hollow we go to. Is that, like, more Halloween or, like, darker? Uh, it's Chris Christmas. The, the, it's called Sleepy Hollow. The neighbors could be too happy. You know, it's it's Christmas yeah. themed. Um, and then there's the one we're going to. Uh, Tonight's Upper Ranch Hastings. That's out in Pasadena. And then there's the Altadena, which is like these giant trees. And I'm still kind of confused on who actually decorates the trees. These trees are massively giant. At the city, maybe? Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I They have to. But those trees are so... Because there's no way people are doing that. Because this is... You fall off and kill yourself. <laughs> but they, they, they were doing a tree lighting here and there. Um, we went to Riverside last year. Mission Hill. They yeah. do like... If you Google missions here, Riverside, they have one place that's like super decorated for Christmas. We drove by it. We tried. We were going to get out, but there's like no parking. I was like, yeah, it's not that big. We, we got it from here. Um, so I think other places. There's one out in Bray Hill, Eagle Rock, Eagle Hill, or Eagle Falcon, something like that. Uh, we go to. Um, there was one in Palmdale, J8. We used to go to every year. but J8? that Yeah, J8. If you go. So if you know anything about Palmdale, Palmdale is built on the grid, so. There's Division Street, which is 0, 10th East, 10th West, 20 East, 20 West, A, B, C, D. So okay. if I say J8, you know exactly where it is based on where you are. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, it's just... You have to live there, no. Yeah. Like, like I say, it's built on a grid, so A, B, C is north and south, so A... The most north would be A, the most south would be Z, but I don't even think it was... But I think it was as far as S. Okay. Anyway... If I tell you where J is, you know the out. Al- as long as you know the alphabet, you can figure out where J is, and I'd say eighth. So you can count. Yeah. You know, eighth is either going to be eight east or eight west, um, but it's eight east, so J8. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they used to have a street there that used to really do the whole neighborhood do the Christmas lights, and then we, but they, they've been slacking <laughs> in the last couple of years. How dare they? Yeah. Uh, they got really we used to, cause we used to drive up from down Lo- from Long Beach up there. It's like two hours, though. Yes. <laughs> when I say we got up there, like, you got to be kidding me. Like, yes, yeah, so we don't go there anymore. Yeah. But Winter Wonderland is still pretty good, which is out in Valencia. It was still like an hour and a half, but yeah. So, yeah, those are the things we do on Halloween. I don't have any places we go to specific. We try to do, like, Halloween, or not sorry, Halloween, Christmas. Christmas. We try to do the Christmas events. We went to... L.A. Snow Day out in, um, like near Hollywood. Uh-huh. Absolutely terrible. Um, I think this year you might go to the Pomona. They have Pomona Fair. It has like some winter wonderland things. Yeah. Right on. Pomona. So you might go to that this year. But outside of that, yeah. We, so we mostly do Christmas lights and try to find something winter. We mean, didn't mean you go to the... Yeah, we did the Queen Mary. Yeah, Queen Mary. That was kind of like... <laughs> we went... So we... we it was okay, like one or two times. We went. We went. Me and my wife actually went uh, together. Is that where we met Georgie? Oh, Georgie from it. Yeah, was he there? Georgie, we met Georgie at one of those events. Yeah, and I was like, dude, that is a tiny kid. <laughs> he was like so cute and tiny. He's like a little doll. I was like, man. Yeah, yeah, small, small little, small little person. Yeah. Um, but no, that that one when us three went on when we us three went. I think that was the biggest it was. Oh, because that was it was kind of lame, Dan. Too. Well, that's one when like they had the whole ice, like the skating in between. Then each we got we like because we were pressed, we got free drinks at uh, the different places. Oh wait, we went somewhere. Wait, hold on. Memories coming back now. Where there was a, there was something with a giant skating rink you could skate around. Was that yeah? The same that was, thing? yeah. It was me and Priscilla went. Um, my wife. And they had like different places you could skate around. Yeah, and there was a. Oh, it, you're right. I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> like, okay. it's like sparking these memories. <laughs> like I do remember. Like, and we we went around and we were doing checking video and stuff. And I don't, I don't think we talked to anybody per se, but we did a lot of video. And they gave us tokens to get free drinks at different places. And we went up to we went up to the second, mm. the second store of some little place that they had built or that was open. They were serving drinks. It was bars everywhere. We were drinking. It was all about drinking. And there was like there were like four different ice rinks, right? And you could, they were like almost like interwoven, so you could 
skate from one to one yeah, other one. It was it the one was inside of a little dome area. Yeah, yeah. and it had like lights. I think that was a, the old uh, Spoos Goose was there, and they they opened that up and they put made something in there because it oh, was yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. dome place. Remember that That's part? Where the long, long Long Beach Roller Derby used to do their thing, Spruce Goose Dome. Uh huh. Apparently, yeah, it's, 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 the Spruce Goose used to be. On uh, one side, it's actually Carnival Cruises. On the other side, they do random events. But they used to, we used to do roller derby there. I always used to be part of that. Very another cool. Another story for another day. Um, but yeah, it's sparking memory. Actually, I do remember the one time we went. It was really cool, but I remember it also being kind of lame. Like it was one thing. Like it was go to one time, but it's like, yeah, it would never come back to us. I see. After that, we went to just after that. You didn't want. I think you didn't want to go because of that reason. Yeah. Um, so. so my wife and I went. You know, I think specifically, I What's think up? the thing's actually okay if you bring your kids. I think because we were doing film, like our thing is like footage, content. Yeah. And we went there and it was like, there's really not, because mo- we interviewed like maybe one lady who's like dressed up like an elf and like a Santa Claus. And it was like, and that's it. There's like a slide and there's you know, roller skating. And it was yeah. like, then they had like shows every now and then. But it wasn't like there was much else content wise. It's, like, it's not like the Dark Harbor. That that yeah. that you did a lot more stuff to. Yeah, you can there. get people running around. and You had like little side shows, and you, then you can do the mazes. Yeah. Um, and then you can t- interview like the designers of the maze, people in cool costumes. Mm-hmm. But for Christmas, it was just like this Christmas thing, this Christmas thing, and then like people walking around like enjoying Christmas. And unless you're interviewing people, like, hey, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Yeah, a lot of people are like. At least, especially back then, like, who's this weird or sticking a camera in my face? Now it's probably, like, TikTok generation. St- can't, people just walking around with cameras. It's just, like, yeah. it doesn't feel that weird. But back no. then, like, if you're trying, like, hey, can I interview you? Uh, no. Get away from me, weirdo. It's like, yeah. okay. It was difficult. Yeah. But, but the next the next one, eating O2, was even worse. <laughs> it was, it was, we went there, and I'm like, this is it. Wow, this is, like, it was horrible. And we went there, and so, you know the whole area, in the front of the Queen Mary Nothing. It was empty. Yeah, okay. Wow. Now, now, anything that was Christmas E was on top of the, on the top deck of the shell, top t- top deck of the ship. Um, Damn. Was it the it was the front of the ship? The the bow, the front of the ship. Um, mm-hmm. I forget the name. But there were some there were some carolers. There was Christmas like uh, Santa Claus was there. I saw a couple of actresses uh, from TV shows. Their red carpet was just like our green screen. But it had like the course with the logo and whatever back of it, yeah. and then they walk, they, they walk, they walk, take a picture of it, and stand in front of it, take pictures, and then go to interview people or whatever during like on the line, the press line. And I remember going up there. I'm like, okay, they're all like, oh, well, thanks. So you can walk around different parts of the ship, and like there were different parts of the ship had different rooms where you could do things. Not like the haunted rooms, but the actual like the ballrooms, whatever. That you'd go in there mm-hmm. and you you can make little uh, ornaments or what have you. And it's gaining ring. The skating ring was on the top deck, and it was about two of these rooms. The size of these rooms, <laughs> like if you, uh, it's, so the amount of effort they put in was like ten percent of what they did that way. Yeah, it was nothing. It was horrible. Like, and went up there. I'm like, well, this isn't very nothing. And I just, well, I'm glad because I was yeah, like, you, you, you were already like, it. nah, wasted. You said wasted fact, your time. I, I was actually going through my old projects the other day because I had a lot of the old projects. I was looking yeah. at. It, I was like, damn, there was nothing on this video. <laughs> Like we interviewed one lady, and like we, I don't know what happened. There was we did a red carpet, and they, they weren't that interesting either. But I I can't find the video of Georgie, and I remember talking to him, and I wanted to ask him like, "How's your arm?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I wanted to ask him about it, but it was it was Christmas. It's like man, that's inappropriate. But oh, you know, he's, he's but the project. Yeah, yeah, it was like one of the biggest movies at the time too. Like yeah. it was not like a small thing. I was like, I wonder how do he, does he realize what impact he's had on. The horror genre, because he, when you were when you were when you were bear crawling, <laughs> the military, military crawl away from the sewer with one a missing arm. How did yeah. you, you know? So, but yeah, I, I outside of like Christmas lights, there's nothing we really, really do. Yeah, do you get it? Do you just drive by or do you get out and walk the walk? Pins. The, um, a lot of them. So there's and there's actually neighborhoods design where people just drive by. Um, mm-hmm. There's one out near Thousand Oaks where it's it's. A neighbor, like a big neighborhood, and they expect you to kind of just drive them down the streets. Like they actually have it coned. They say like drive this way. Like yeah. They actually have guides. Um, the one we're going to go to in Brea, they actually expect. I mean, you can walk these if you want. Yeah. We're, we're talking about big ass neighborhood. Like not like four houses. We're talking about a neighborhood of like two hundred houses, maybe more, like eight streets. So yeah. if you want to walk them, it's a hell of a walk. But Jeez. they actually have it it's where you can drive around. 
they have like arrows and say drive this way and you drive uh-huh. up down the street and you come back and turn like say turn this way. So um, a lot of these we drive, but there's certain houses that are like you need to pull over and to really get the. Some houses okay. you can see from the street, you're like, okay, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Some houses like they're detailed and intricate where you need to get out of your car and watch them. Um, that's where we're going to uh, Pasadena. There's a house called um, Harbeck. Harbeck? H A R B E C K. They were on um, either last year or the year before they won. Um, that's the year? No. Um, Christmas Light. Of Christ- course. Christmas Fight. Christmas. The Great Christmas, the Great Christmas Light Fight, the okay. show that's on ABC. Uh, you win fifty thousand dollars for the best. That's your that's, that's your bill that month. That's why. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how much those, it probably costs way more than what you win. But yeah, um, you win fifty thousand dollars. They go to like four houses and like it's like oh check out this holiday display, mm-hmm. and then they go to another one and they say who wins and yeah. So this house was one of the recipients of fifty thousand dollars for winning Christmas Light. Yeah. The Great Christmas Light Fight. Light Fight. Uh, so it's in Pasadena. So if you Google Harbeck House, H A R B E C K, he has like this really full on elaborate house. Um, that's the one thing we've been trying to do this past couple of years looking up what houses were on that show. Yeah. And we go to visit them for Christmas. So yeah, tomorrow is Harbeck House. There's one out in Rancho Cucamonga. It was pretty funny. It was a Christmas pirate theme, but really, he just took his Halloween. <laughs> Just him up as just, just him up at Christmas, which makes sense to me. Like, like, because it was an intricate. He actually has like a house boat, or sorry, he has a school bus that's been converted into like a pirate ship. Oh wow! And it's like it actually moves. So he, the amount of detailed work he did for Halloween, I can understand. Like, they just put fucking Santa hats and everything. We'll just call this shit Christmas. Hopefully, we win the fifty thousand dollars, right? Yeah. Well, people were, people were people were taking those uh, tall foot skeletons. Yeah, and just putting, putting yeah. Santa on. There was one of them actually that did a uh, because most of them just put like Santa hat or something like minuscule. Someone actually did a full on like like oh what did they do? They made it look like it was a giant Santa. Oh really? Not like Nightmare for Christmas Santa. Like they uh-huh. put like they filled in like the gaps where it wouldn't look like a skeleton anymore. But you yeah. you knew that they just took that the giant twelve foot skeleton. Uh huh. And they just added something. It was pretty funny. I think the, the the coolest one I saw was when the one with the person that has, that's outside and it's posing like it's putting the, the light on the tree. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. That one looks pretty yeah. cool. Like action shot. Yeah, that, that's that's like this, the newest thing. I like, believe that if I put up a twelve foot skeleton, you're using, you're using, it's, yeah. it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there at least half the damn year, right? It's gonna be there October to like January or February. It, it might not even come down. I might just put a different. <laughs> you know, one day it's gonna be holding a heart. The other day, it's going to be holding a giant Easter egg. <laughs> Shamrock and everything. Yeah, Shamrock. <laughs> forget that. Those things are, one, so I've been, uh, started to decorate a lot. Not like big, right? But just yeah. decorating. You have to store that stuff somewhere, right? Yeah. A 12-foot skeleton is not going to fit in any regular size space. Oh, yeah. So you, either you keep that out, just leave it up there, and then you don't have to worry about storing it, or you have to buy a storage space at that point, unless you have like a enough space for it yeah which a lot of people do i was actually talking to these guys so halloween's my jam right yeah we go out to i still haven't posted any of my halloween videos this makes me mad and i'm like should i do it now anyway we go out from like house to house we drive around all of a sudden california and see these haunted houses right mm-hmm. some of these it looks like they built a house out of haunted house material really and got it up there so what i asked the dude the other day is like where do you store all this stuff <laughs> he's like oh yeah everyone always asks that me and a buddy, we share because he apparently his buddy does it too. They, they share a storage space because that works. Yeah, so much stuff and the other stuff they just keep in their garages. But still, I was like, that's a lot of stuff to keep in garages. Oh yeah, yeah. And you had to worry about like the wear and tear and things getting damaged when you're packing things up every year. So yeah, Christmas lights, ornaments, whatever. Yeah, we don't buy glass ornaments anymore. All plastic. We used to buy glass and then like they kept breaking. Like you know what? I got an idea. <laughs> Let's just buy stuff that doesn't break. <laughs> That but, works. But you, what do you do? Do you go anywhere for Christmas? Like, is there any no, big thing no. you look forward to? You know, to? recently, I um, now my daughter's a little older. I wanted and and you know, post COVID and everything, um, I wanted to try to go somewhere either you know, lights and so forth. That I, so I need to look up. Is there a place where you go to online to look up, look up lights, or is it yes just- and no? So the site used to be really big, uh, like two years ago, and it still kind of works, but it's very badly done. Oh, um, but there used to be like there's sort of just. 
and there's sites for everything, but right, there's a, a good one for Halloween. It's called like the SoCal Hot List, but they just list like all oh, yeah, the events. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's that one. And then there was a, I forget what it was. I, I was looking at it the other day, but it's it's, it's kind of like, if you ever thought about what, what a decrepit website looks like, <laughs> that's what it is. It's still up and running, but it's like the guy doesn't want to pay the dues, which I understand. Like he, it probably takes like, he said it costs like $150 a year just to maintain. Really? Yeah, cool, because he has to maintain it, plus you have the server space, storage space, because people put pictures and videos on there, uh-huh. and someone gets charged for that, right? Yeah. And the, so if you ever use a change Google Maps... Host. Change everything, yeah, change the <laughs> Well, no, yeah. E- even if you use a Google Maps plugin, yeah. Google Maps charges that at their, like, certain... I wonder if, like, it's hits. You get charged for using Google Maps, either per hit or per view or per something, right? Yeah. So the Google Maps doesn't really work the way it's supposed to. It will work, but you have to kind of, like, do it yourself. Anyway, short version is... The site's still there. It's kind of decrepit. I can send it to you. I can't remember off the top of my head. No worries. But if you want, I can just send you some good places to go to. Um, what do you want? You trying to do specifically? I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna have her walk around. Okay. My daughter as as maybe just try so by. So I, mean, I would I say some places actually have like play. You might buy chocolate or whatever, and kind of walk in. Yeah, like make you it a whole it. event. Yeah. Um. Go to Brea. Brea. We're actually we're gonna go there tomorrow. Brea. Only, only because they at Nordstrom's they have this holiday thing that my wife got tickets to. Um, oh, that's cool. And Nordstrom's they have this. You can come in your jammies. I'm like, I'm not gonna go in my, my pajamas. I do think that's cool when holidays do the. Sorry, when malls do like the Christmas displays. I don't actually want to go there, but it's fun to see like the spirit. Yeah. Um, I don't even go on like, these little hol- like these Christmas things and like take photos. I sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh-huh. But I love going to like a mall and seeing the amount of effort they did to build out like this christmas display yeah like the they'll have the santa something it's just like a house and like a santa house but there's sometimes if you get santa you'll break these fake elves or you this fake reindeer and it'll be a giant christmas tree and like, like the horror just, deal like, like a train set that goes around it's cool like man you guys actually put effort into this uh we went to this one mall pch and second second and pch okay. it was very minimal but they had like these uh things on the ground that would say oh here is where blah 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 like it was like a uh Almost like a Easter egg hunt with like little notes you had to find. Like, oh, let's find this one. Mm-hmm. It was like it was very minimalistic, but it was fun. The effort someone someone had to figure out and design yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's kind of cool. Um, right but you're saying you're going to Nordstrom's Brea Mall? Yeah, yeah. They have this thing where I, I, I think it's like a well, you meet. I think maybe it's meet. I hope you meet Santa. Um, but I think there's like a meal or something you can get, like a breakfast or oh, whatever a meal cool. it is. I don't know what exactly. All I know is that she said, "Let's go," and I said, "Okay." Why? <laughs> I say no, it's my daughter. So, All right. well, we'll yeah. See. If you're out there, and if you're out there when the sun goes down in Brea, I want to say it's like Eagle Hill, Eagle Hill, Eagle Hill, or something. It's expensive. No, it's it's you just it's a Christmas display, uh, Christmas lights. Like, you just drive Brea, around, though. you get lost because like not all the <laughs> things point you in the right direction. Uh-huh. Like at some point, you can tell they just got lazy with it. But there's a neighborhood around there that's really good at Christmas lights. I'll send you the address, but yeah, right you can drive through there. Um, but there's a trick to it. You Uh-oh. don't, because if you take the freeway there and you get off the freeway, there's a long line of traffic trying to get to this neighborhood. Yeah. The trick to it is you go past that around the neighborhood and take the back entrance, and then no, one's, no one ever waits there for whatever reason. Oh, right on. I only know this completely. The first time we went, it was like, what is this long line of cars? Like, they can't be right. This was like three miles from where the place was. Jesus. And then we passed this, and we got there. It was like, oh, that line of cars was that thing. <laughs> but we were like, we just did a U-turn, and we were in this back line, and it was like four cars. I was like, oh, this is the way you go. Oh, right on. And then I, <laughs> and I, feel, like I, kind of, I feel like an asshole because I just discovered this by accident. Looked yeah. it up online. People were like, yeah, I waited three hours. <laughs> I was like, dude, Jesus. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's serious. Yeah. I can just Google no it. Way. Or I could, Or I, what I've been doing is watching people's YouTube videos of them going to Christmas lights. Like, oh, cool. They did a lot of effort for me. <laughs> I can just, just sit at home. I mean, and watch it. You, just try, you just drive through and see, see lights yeah, later. You just try. It, uh, all the cars that go there, some of them get out and walk, but most mm-hmm. people just kind of just cruise and like slow and they just kind of stick their head out and they look at the window like and this is what they do every year there's like a line of cars you know if you want to walk and park a lot of people do that but i would say the majority of them just drive through it's just not like even speed like yeah five miles an hour you just drive down the road checking out the different christmas displays like oh look at that one look at that one uh, I, it's I, normal i know i i want to say at least i've seen one where it says tune into this station and they'll broadcast something on that yeah, station they'll have like music. a sync with them but there's a a uh, house out in Fountain Valley. It's on Stanislaus, and I can't remember the actual address, but it says uh, they got 100,000 LEDs. Wow. 
and it is if you tune in like 99 point something you can listen to the music that that house is in sync with so yeah. like it does like a whole song and dance and there's music that sync when you can listen to in your car um you see the one i posted about the rap no i'll show it to you <laughs> yeah. actually it's really cool it has yeah. a, it's a full it's, it's all out like there's a lot of effort put into it no yeah there's like there are houses it's on my like, instagram if you guys want to take a look at it yeah. there's someone there yeah, i i know way too many spots like there's some one thousand oaks there's a street in long I'm gonna, beach i'm not gonna drive like an hour away okay like, there's that much all right well is it, is Brea it, is, it is very local. <laughs> Brea is not really like 45 minutes away. But yeah. yeah, but that one is close. I would say the, the, the Pasadena where we went to is relatively close. Um, mm. I don't know any. There's one in Buena Park I can actually send you. Yeah. Buena Park. There's Buena Park. There's Orange. Your Belinda. Oh, there's probably one on Costa Mesa, but that's still pretty far. Now, there's a Newport. You want to go to a boat parade? Oh, I think they no, we we went to we went to that me and my wife a couple years ago before my wife, when I was born. It was cool at first, but it got lame. Yeah, uh, lately. That's well, I, I don't. I was never that interested in a boat parade, but everyone else was like, "Yeah, you guys go." Yes, yeah, so <laughs> Second Street in Long Beach has the the Second Street parade. Um, we used to go there, but you had to get there early. Yeah, and you had to like put your you had to literally you have uh, you been there to that parade. Nah. So you have so it's, uh, you can't put your, your chairs up before like five thirty, right? So everyone <laughs> sits there with their chairs in hand uh, on the on the on the on sidewalk, right? So they stand they stand there. As soon as they give the go, everybody runs and puts their puts their uh, chairs down and then ropes it off and goes and goes eats comes back later. Yeah, I'm not with that. Yeah. I'm not with it. Not fun. I mean, I've never that's why I've never gone to those parades because like if I gotta get there at six a.m. like the rose parades, my friends go they're like yeah hey, we get there at like four a.m. and then we wait out till the parade says like, yeah fuck that shit I just ain't that serious man. Yeah, you can watch it on Staying TV overnight. Yeah, yeah, no, no. yeah. That that is crazy. <laughs> There's that Simpsons where he's like, they they get like they uh, stuff this there. stuff and like, oh, okay, cool. We'll just sleep here. And he woke up and like, so put the stains in front of him. <laughs> like, don't. <laughs> so uh, the people in that neighborhood are smart. They charge you to park on their lawn and park in the driveway. Mm. So to, they'll they'll tell you, you can park here for like X amount of money, and some will actually give you like um. All of them. Some will like oh, charge you to use the bathroom too. Like they'll, <laughs> yeah, that's smart. It's just very. I mean, if you have a, a, a bathroom detached or away from your house, you know, like the garage, whatever, you can use that one. It's fine, whatever. But I'll send you some Christmas stuff to do. Very uh, cool. Then some. So you have a kid too. So you, do, do you want to actually go out to like? There's the Pomona thing, which looks that's yeah, right, kind of far away. And like, you know, like the really, I think mean, Buena Park, Buena, like, Buena okay, Park, okay. Uh, or Brea. Just, all right, all right, I'll send I'll you. Some, you. I'll send you some stuff. Yeah, they got some Christmas stuff. I haven't, I've never actually been to the Buena Park one. So the orange Buena Park one, we, I might even go through, but it didn't look that interesting. But the Brea... Oh, there's three. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Brea one, we're definitely going to, and then we're going to the Pasadena tonight, which is fun. So, yeah. Right on. Yeah. All Same right. Uh, well, we are winding down on time here. Um, thank you for, join, for joining us on our um, Christmas holiday kind of memories, a couple of them. <laughs> um, some good, some kind of questionable. My, cru- my crush... I don't know. I just don't have that many memories. It's honestly. it's cool. I really is. You know, I just hope everybody's having a good holiday. I know we are again. This is two days, a couple days before holiday. Uh, Christmas is, uh, you know, for celebrated. It's Christmas is released. Is released. It's <laughs> Christmas is. Um, this will be released on Wednesday before. So please um, enjoy. Hope, uh, happy uh, holidays for everybody. And um, <laughs> thank you. you. Should talk about the war on Christmas. No, the war on Christmas. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, but thank you again. Thank you for tuning in and. Um, I guess we shall see you next week here on the Same bad time, same bad channel. Tell us what you're doing for Christmas, what you like about Christmas. Uh, they did a poll. This is a very informal poll. But what is everyone's favorite thing about Christmas? Okay, if you had to guess, what is everyone's favorite thing about Christmas? There's four choices. I can't remember all the choices, but I'm yes. just going to let you guess. Presents. If everyone's favorite thing, you think gifts, uh, presents? Presents, food, family, and snow. Okay. So let's say that was, which one do you think is the most if you had to vote, and it's not even like a, it's by a landslide is one of them. What do you think it is? Presents? It's family. Family yeah. and friends. Everyone looks forward to seeing family and friends during Christmas. Oh. That's the, the biggest thing people look forward to. So go out there and visit your family and friends during Christmas. Enjoy their time and company. Uh, 23, 2023 is winding down. Crazy. If I swear 2020 to 2023 feels like one long year. Yep. Uh, so I, I definitely feel like we're finally moving on from that feeling. We're actually going to feel like 2024 is going to feel like 2021. Yeah. Like an actual New Year. So enjoy everyone. A lot of you are still here. Enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy time with your friends and family. 
uh, even if it's not Christmas, reach out and say hi. Message them on Facebook, but that's uh, <laughs> FaceTime them or something. Something that's a little more connected, like you, more you're personal. actually yeah, more more personal. Go with that route, and uh, yeah. On those final notes, thanks for tuning in to This Was Your Idea, Taylor's Idea, Christmas Holidays, Christmas Memories. Yep. And... Trey will have next week's end of the year podcast <laughs> right before the new, new oh, year, yeah. so no pressure. Um, but yeah, again, thank you. Like Dre's mentioned, thank you for tuning in. Um, check us out on, I'm not sure if you're listening to this on the uh, uh, audio or the audio and video, but if you do listen to audio, we have our website uh, or our channel on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash media underscore website. You can... Uh, Check links, uh, media.com, and check links there. Um, but we have videos going up every day, Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have uh, talk about games, we do reviews, just general chit chat. That's not the podcast. Tuesday, Thursday, we have trailers where we do uh, movies, TV shows, uh, video games. We talk about trailers for things, talk about them, and uh, we kind of review them, kind of give our thoughts on them. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Thank you for tuning in. On that note, we shall see you guys later. Peace. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Happy holidays. holidays.